Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to my 2022 reboot of Fallout Shelter, episode two. Okay, we have three babies and one person to level up. So we've got Ethan Myers. We have also got Rachel Wilson. And third and finally, we have Stephanie Jones. So that's three new dwellers in our vault as children. Plus we have two people outside. Uh, now, always pay attention to the uh, stats, so the special stats, we've got 100 caps there for that quest. Next is have 10 male and female couples dance in the living quarters. Uh, so that is 10 more babies that we will need to add to the vault. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, so click on your uh, new dweller that's outside, have a look at their special stats. So perception, uh, charisma, intelligence and luck are the highest ones there. Uh, so we want perception, which is water. So let's add a new water treatment facility and unlock our science lab. So where we can make our radaways. We've already got the med bay, which would allow us to build stim packs, uh, but we'll expand our water treatment facility. We'll get this chap dropped in. And who's this guy? So perception, charisma, and intelligence. So ideally he should be making radaways or stim packs, uh, but we cannot build them yet because we do not have enough caps. Uh, we've also unlocked the overseer's office, which will allow us to go on quests. But again, uh, we do not have anywhere near enough caps yet to be able to do that. And that's why I'm calling this game, uh, this episode, the early struggles. Uh, because this is the early struggles of the game. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be challenging. Uh, there we go. Our vault is full. We can't add any more people. And to build another living quarters, we need 170 caps, which we don't have. Uh, so by expanding the diner, we actually uh, don't now have enough uh, caps to let the last guy in. But we can get 50 extra caps by collecting 100 food. So we could risk rushing this, which should also give us some bonus caps. Let's see what happens. Success. Fantastic. Okay, that's going to let us get the 50 caps as well. So that's us now at 204, so we have enough to be able to build the additional living quarters. So there we go, let's get it put down. And now we can get this guy in and uh, decide where we want to put him. So it's either perception, charisma, intelligence, or agility. Uh, so we can put him into the diner. So we've got five people in our diner, we've got five people in our water treatment facility, and we have six people in our power production. Uh, which is our main focus, of course, because the little green bar at the top is the furthest to the right for power. Although we are having water and food issues. Now with water, if it drops below that green line, you will start getting radiation poisoning in your dwellers because the water is no longer clean for them to drink. Uh, so you don't want that to happen. And again, it's quite the struggle to get it so that it doesn't happen. But as long as you follow through this series, as I release the episodes, uh, you will have a successful vault. You will. Uh, I've done this enough uh, to have figured out my own strategies. A lot of people will be saying that you need to put a power production facility on the top floor where there is that empty space. There is reasoning why I do not and it's actually for later in the game. Uh, it gives you more time. The route that I do gives you a more time and uh, preparation time, and it forces uh, creatures to go all the way across the top and then down to the second level and also back through your power room. So stick with me, it will make sense. Uh, you might not see what I mean for the first five, six episodes of the series, but it will make sense as we go through. And for any pointers, you can also look at the previous episodes that I've done in the first reboot series of Fallout Shelter. And if you want to think about survival mode, check out my survival mode series as well. There's a lot of tips there for what you should and should not be doing uh, in survival mode. Okay, we've got someone to level up, so let's get them leveled up. Level four. Oh, nice. We've got another four caps. We've got a total of 38. Woohoo! Not enough to do anything. Uh, next, have a look at our dwellers. What have we got? So we've got someone nearly leveled up to three to four. They're going level five to six. And uh, Nicole White's nearly leveled up. Uh, Robert Young's nearly leveled up. So Sarah Curtis. And Timothy Webster's literally about to go level four. There we go. He's level four. Now again, I said it in episode one. If you want your dwellers to have the highest amount of health possible, uh, then you don't level them up. You wait until you have the endurance room unlocked. You get everyone's endurance leveled up, then you level them up. 
but to be honest this is the main game it's not survival uh, so it's not as essential uh, and it's why I'm not doing it and it's why I mentioned it in episode one uh, so Jeffrey Young he is potentially our quest chap so we will need a squad of three people to go on quests but we are just about to run out of water oh my goodness gracious me not great uh, can we boost anyone's stats anywhere else uh, that guy's perception one uh, could put him there anyway just to increase uh, let's uh, have a look so we've got already in water treatment this person's in the power generator let's get them over to the water treatment facility so put him in the mayor's outfit gives him a bit more luck uh, and then get him dragged over for perception four which should reduce the amount of time that it's going to take us to collect water now again have a look at everyone's stats so she could do with the heavy battle armor there we go that puts strength ahead of intelligence and again should increase the happiness so we're up to 88 percent happiness again happiness is based on whether a dweller is in the right room so you need to have a look at their special stats look at what special stat that room has and make sure that it's their highest stat as long as it's their highest stat they'll be happy and of course something else you can do is when they're not happy uh, so say 70 percent below uh, what you can do send them to the living quarters male and female get them uh, happy with each other dancing and then creating another dweller and uh, having a baby because you get instant 100 percent happiness for that okay we're up to 46 caps again nothing great uh, what i will be doing is skipping through a lot of the footage uh, so although this video is only 16 minutes long uh, it's probably about an hour's worth of game time compressed into that 16 minutes uh, so again we've collected food somebody else has leveled up we're up to 71 caps slowly increasing and uh, again it's water and we've got 56 seconds until the water is going to be ready again challenging that water level keeps dropping dangerously low but not low enough to start causing radiation poisoning so as long as you're following along and your layouts looking the same you should be all right okay so what we'll do is we'll skip forwards ahead a little bit more uh, so there we go so so the water room is ready to collect we didn't go below there we go we've now got a nice little buffer and again, something else as you're playing through, um, it's again, it can be challenging. You might fail if you do, uh, and you start getting radiation poisoning and everything else because something hasn't happened or whatever else. Feel free to restart. It's not the end of the world. And uh, yeah, I mean, at the moment we have no ability to do quests, no anything interesting yet. Uh, the game opens up once you can start uh, doing quests. Uh, and everything else which will be in the later episodes uh, of the series um, not in this episode because we're not going to get to a thousand caps and we're not going to be able to do oh we've got a rad roach infestation okay let's get it dealt with that person has a shotgun that person is unarmed by the looks of it because of course at the moment we don't have a lot of guns so these people are going to be using their fists to kill the rad roaches well apart from our mayoral, mayoral outfit person who has a shotgun of course Okay, let's maybe get a couple more people in there. Anyone got a gun? Oh, yes, you have. There we go. In you go. Help them. Help them. They need assistance. And the other thing with this run through that I haven't done is bought any items. So in the previous series that I'd done, I always got the starter pack. And I thought that was a little bit unfair because um, I want to do a completely free playthrough. It's a free-to-play game. Obviously, you can buy resources. Um, but I want to do this as a completely free run-through. So I'm not buying anything, uh, including Nuka-Cola Quantums. Um, if I run out at some point and I want to be able to skip quests, uh, so get people to their destination quickly purely for the content, uh, then I will. Uh, but that's all I will do. Okay, again, when you go to look and rush a room, what you want to have a look at is the percentage chance of a event happening. So that was 34% for the diner, which isn't too bad. Um, I sometimes think that that percentage isn't entirely accurate, especially when you get so many failures and then you get fires, rad roach infestations and mole rat infestations and all the other stuff that's not great. Uh, let's skip forward again. Again, our water is trickling down. Um, but we're not at that green line yet, which is the important thing. Uh, again, we still only have 75 caps, you know, not a lot of money. Uh, and we are literally sitting here waiting uh, for things to happen. 
but again that is the early game and you will have to go through this regardless uh, so let's collect water there we go again it is starting to get higher with each refill um, so I think we're in a positive position uh, we've got our six people in there now as well uh, so the amount of time it's taking uh, to generate is a little bit less and I think we should be okay now the other thing of course is Mysterious Stranger, uh, when he first appears I will talk about him and show you. In the early days of your vault it's not too difficult to find him, but later on in the game you'll get that noise and you'll just be like, nah I'm not even going to bother looking. Um, because when you've got a huge vault trying to find the Mysterious Stranger is basically impossible. Okay. So again, we're waiting for anyone to level up, uh, to give us more caps, uh, because there is more expansion that we need to do, uh, and the main thing that we're trying to do is save up a thousand caps, of course, uh, because we want the Overseer's Office, we want to be able to do quests, because as soon as you unlock quests, uh, your caps uh, become less of an issue, because you do tend to get quite a lot of caps from missions, uh, and if you have any pets or anything else, or uh, get any pets from quests or objectives then again they can help as well but of course they're entirely random so when you open the pet cage you have no idea what pet you're going to get uh, it's purely roll of the dice okay oh as we enter the last uh, few minutes of this video uh, we will try and do a couple of rushes uh, just to boost our cap total so there's another four we're up to 89 uh, because one of the things with successful rushes as well as getting the resources is of course you also get caps uh, so it's worth doing and of course our water treatment facility we've only got a minute left uh, until that's going to generate resources so we might as well leave it uh, however we could potentially uh, rush other rooms as well uh, and it, the best time to rush is always uh, just after you've collected the resource so we collect the power do a rush collect the water do a rush uh, there the 32 percent chance of the incident um, I do feel is stacked slightly uh, higher than that well it feels like it sometimes especially if you get multiple back-to-back -back failures but even a failure uh, that generates an incident such as a fire um, your guys are going to get extra XP uh, and level up quicker so again it, it's kind of courses for courses and swings for roundabouts you may be you you know it's a good thing either way even if you have an incident there is a slight positive side to it uh, that you get the experience points boost uh, there's somebody else there that needs leveling up we're down to 15 seconds before the water treatment facility is ready to be collected from so getting there slowly but surely and also our resources are slowly building up as well um, so uh, come on come on there we go water lovely stuff now let's try rushing the room and Ah, oh, failure. Of course, failure. So now we're going to get a fire. The dog's going to leg it to the living quarters and go and hide in its kennel because it doesn't like the fire. But the guys, there's six of them in there. It's a level one, uh, sorry, level two room. Uh, so it's going to, you know, they're going to put it out really quickly. Uh, again, our diner. Uh, we could rush that as well because we're not completely there with food yet. We've got two minutes and let's see if this fails. 34% chance of an incident. Let's have a look. Failed as well. <laughs> ah, you evil game. No, that's fine. They'll get the experience points. It's not a problem. There's five of them in there. They've got it put out quite quickly. There we go. They're all going to get an XP boost. Lovely stuff. I'm tempted now just to rush the power room just for the sake of it and see if we get three back-to-back -back failures. Um, what are the odds? What are the odds indeed? Okay, two minutes until water treatment is ready. Uh, the kids are growing up, but they've got a long way to go. I think it's about two or three hours in real world time it takes for a child to grow to an adult. Uh, let's uh, quickly have a look at our survival guide. So under the survival guide, you can have a look at all of the weapons that you've found, outfits, junk, pets, and also uh, dwellers. So legendary dwellers and uh, rare dwellers. So there we go, there are weapons. Uh, we've got some more that we haven't uncovered yet. Oh, there we go, baseball bat. There we go, and now we can see there's no new next to it, so there's nothing new to look at. Pets, there are a total of 98 pets. Now, they're in varying levels, so you'll get a gut base, golden retriever, uh, so common, uh, rare, and uh, legendary. 
So there we go, we've got Happy Bouncy, Yellow, Golden Retriever, nothing else. Uh, again, the same with Junk. So we've got the rare camera, we've got the rare microscope, and the rare teddy bear. It's got a blue background, so we know it's rare. Gold background, well, that's legendary. And then outfits. What outfits have we covered so far? Mm, don't need to look. Go to our stats, and what we can do is we can see what we're generating versus what we're using and our averages. So... Let's have a look. Consumption is 6.84 and we're making 9.59. So we are positive. Our water is slowly going up. Uh, not something to worry about. Uh, so it's, that's a good thing. And uh, that is near the end of the video. So let's rush this room. I did say let's do it anyway. 30% chance of an incident. Is it going to be successful? Yes, it is. Fantastic. 97 to 128 caps. So a nice little cap boost to close out the episode. So until next time, I'm Know It All Gaming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel uh, to stay up to date with this new series. And uh, as you can see, the chance of an incident now in both of these rooms has gone to over 40%, so you certainly don't want to be doing it now. But until next time, see you then.